Everyone stands shocked and confused at what just happened to 18 as two Universe 10 fighters are eliminated by Gamisaras, the invisible fighter from Universe 4. Gamisaras then goes after 17 but is blocked by Tien who states that he will handle this dangerous foe. 17 moving to help Piccolo with Napapa. Sensing Gamisaras, Tien splits into four to surround him, cutting off his movements. The three-eyed warrior avoids most attacks, but still gets two clones knocked out, eventually gaining the upper hand, eliminating the invisible enemy, sacrificing his last clone at the edge of the stage. Having just defeated Napapa, Piccolo yells at an exhausted Tien to look out as another seemingly invisible foe approaches him from behind. Tien attacks, hitting nothing but air, and is immediately hit off the stage by this unknown enemy. Having no time to react to losing another team member, Piccolo yells at Seventeen to watch out. Seventeen puts his guard up and is hit multiple times, sliding all the way back to Goku and Jiren, breaking up their fight. Dispo suggests to Jiren that they play it safe and fall back until they know what they're dealing with. The two Pride Troopers fall back, leaving Goku, Seventeen, and Piccolo alone with the seemingly invisible enemy. Piccolo explains that he heard something strange right before Tien and Seventeen were attacked, so he listens closely and is able to locate Damon, a tiny yet powerful bug no larger than a thumbtack. Piccolo tells Goku that him and Seventeen can handle this fighter, so Goku leaves to go after Jiren yet again. Piccolo and Seventeen then work together, concocting a plan to halt Damon's movements and making him an easier target, Seventeen smashing the ground, stunning Damon, and Piccolo zapping Damon off the stage. All the while, a few yards back, Maji Kaio lurks, waiting for an opening to attack. Frieza, meanwhile, lays the beat down on Khalifla, who resorts to using Super Saiyan, turning the tables on Frieza, whopping on him a bit, and unleashing a massive blast, destroying part of the stage. Unfortunately, Frieza has an ace up his sleeve and reveals his golden transformation, catching the notice of Kale and Kaba. He turns the tables once again on Khalifa, completely outclassing her easily. Concerned for his teammate, Kaba turns up the juice, transforming into a Super Saiyan, eliminating his opponent and making his way to help Khalifa. Kale quickly following suit. The three Saiyans go on the offensive, not gaining much ground on Frieza, who is just having the time of his life towing with these Super Saiyans. As the struggle makes its way to the stage edge, Frieza begins to taunt them, catching Khalifa in a death beam juggle as Kale looks on, rage building within her at her helplessness, when something finally snaps. With a giant flash of yellow-green, Kale transforms into a Super Saiyan, overflowing with uncontrolled power. Frieza smirks at this with his cocky and overconfident attitude when Kale explodes directly at him, surprising him with her power, punching him off the stage and going absolutely berserk. Fortunately, Frieza is able to grab the edge of the stage just in time, saving himself. Meanwhile, Obini fights the three remaining Universe 4 fighters, defeating Majora, but Kale barges in, grabbing Ganos and Shansa, Obini deciding to retreat and play it safe while Kale drops Ganos and Shansa off the stage edge, causing Universe 4's erasure. Aware of the rising stakes and not being able to compete at their current level, most of the remaining Universe 3 team fuses into Ani Raza just in time to swat Kale away as she attacks, following up with an energy beam which is deflected by the Universe 6 Namekians. Not too far away, Piccolo notices this and moves to help the Namekians with Ani Raza. Kale quickly rebounds, attacking Mageta, lifting him up and throwing him out of bounds. Kaba tries talking some sense into her, but he is ruthlessly knocked away, getting saved by Vegeta. The Pride Troopers step in as Kale begins to lose steam. Vegeta makes note of this to Kaba, stating that strength is nothing if you can't hit your opponent. Vegeta returns to continue his fight with Topo as Khalifla stresses to Kaba that Kale needs help. She clumsily drops two Patara from her pants, explaining that she had stolen them from the Supreme Kai. Champa notices this and tells the two Saiyans to use the earrings. Seeing that the Universe 6 and Namekians are in trouble as well, Kaba tells Khalifa to give him one of the earrings, stating that they need another ace to make up for the losing hit. She gives him an earring, putting one on herself as Kaba, full of confidence, rushes to save his teammate, but is kicked by Dispo. Khalifa tries to go help, but is stopped by Frieza. Back with Ani Raza, the three Namekians have determined Ani Raza's weak point, concentrating all attacks on his forehead while Piccolo has resorted to charging his special beam cannon. 
Nearby, Obuni is attacked by Zarbato and Rabranra, the last Universe 2 fighters, while Maji Kaio gives Seventeen a tough time. As Kaba struggles with Dispo, he sees his teammates, the Namekians, getting blasted off the stage by Aniraza. Subsequently, Piccolo is also blasted to the stage floor, Aniraza following up with another blast, which never reaches him. He looks up to see that Gohan has shielded him from elimination, Gohan turning to him, saying for them to continue the fight. Dispo toys with Kaba as he sees his remaining teammates, Kale and Kalefla, having major issues as well. In his frustration and desperation, he explodes into Super Saiyan 2, catching Dispo by surprise, blowing him back. He immediately rushes to Kale's aid, just in time to catch her from flying off the stage, scattering the pride troopers. Before Kale and the troopers could recover, he puts the earring on Kale, noticing that Dispo is charging at them. He unleashes a Gallic gun, which unfortunately doesn't connect, as Dispo is too fast, getting kicked off the stage, along with Kale. Fortunately, the power of the Patara sucks Kale back into the arena and Khalifla from Frieza's grasp to collide with one another in a flash of light. What emerges is Kefla, Universe 6's unexpected trump card. Will this new fusion be the savior of Universe 6? Find out next time. I hope you guys are enjoying this Dragon Ball Super rewrites. Don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and of course, take it easy.